Hello and welcome to my run at the Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising League qualifier from the Hollow Knight. It's the first qualifier and I was up on stream against Mascarale, a Uno, Uno player. As you can see with our cards before and our ranking in games, uh, he's quite more experienced than I am. And Uno or Unreal is a very uh, rare character. So obviously the first match is already going uphill here. And uh, yeah, I've got a lead right now, but he counters my age. Not counter, but he punishes my age and, and gets big damage. And that's essentially something that I've been noticing a lot in my online gameplay. Um, that I can win lots of neutral interactions, but I often don't get the damage that I want. Of course, part of that is due to Grimnir not being the best in converting mid screen because we need the seals up for that. But it's mostly of I believe me missing some crucial routes and stuff. So that's definitely something I need to look forward and to look up. And he is using Uno's very good pokes here to keep me out. And here I actually messed up. I wanted to extend the combo, but I wasn't quite in the seal range. So I went for a reset more or less there, involuntarily. But uh, yeah. He gets me into the corner again. Again, big damage. Goes for a reset and gets the throw. And here I press something and I shouldn't have pressed it. Again, I don't know what is plus and what is not plus. Especially for Uno, but in general it's also something that I obviously need to work on. Again, lots of that comes with game knowledge and the other stuff comes with uh, labbing. But to be honest, if I were to lap a character, then uh, yeah, here I mess up again. Um, if I were to lap against a character, then it would be some someone very popular like Bura. Um and so Uno would be very, very down the list. Yeah, I press again, and he makes me regret my decision. Again, and also in these kind of matches, I should uh, use. Alpha counter a lot more, or brave counter, I don't know how it's called here, this one, <laughs> exactly, as I said, uh, but yeah, I jump again and uh, his counter gets me. Okay, going slow in, those characters, but of course when it goes to out zoning me, then he has the upper hand, maybe at like... Uh, farthest range not because uh, my tornadoes have a very good range my projector but aside from that anything in between he just zones me out and I should probably do a better job and trying to get on top of him rather than letting him come to me again this is something that uh, comes from my rather defensive playstyle but playing characters like Grimnir that are not as defensively ori oriented will help me in the long run breaking it up a little bit because I'm yeah I'm way too defensive at times and if I play aggressive characters then hopefully I can get uh, better at pressuring yeah so Mascarale takes it 2-0 over me and next up I'm against Spectre and you see Master rank so another uphill battle here um, and I was, yeah, the bracket was actually pretty scuffed, like uh, Soki, one of, uh, one of Grand Blue's best European players, one of the best German players, especially, um, was also in the tournament, and I believe he was who uh, set Lord Spex down into the loser's bracket, and of course I had to fight him. <laughs> but it's looking not as dire as I would have thought, to be honest. Like, it's fairly even right now, but, uh, yeah, I misspaced and he could just punish my attempt because he was too far away for the uh, hitbox of my dashes to work. And he gets his first round fairly handily with, yeah, three quarter of his health left, I believe. I don't know how it's displayed here in Grand Blue, if it's something like in many fighting games where actually the last half of your house is in the last third of your uh, bar at the top. 
here I'm play I'm actually being uh, fairly patient and here it pays off against Uno it didn't pay off but here it is and I, this time I don't mess up the conversion but of course I'm too far away to get the corner here yeah, and I don't believe there would be a way I could have punished this, but uh, at the very least, he wasted meter for nothing. So that's good. I'm still in there. Yeah, if I had uh, went upwards instead of forward, then maybe I could have made something w uh, happen. And he gets me, this should be a kill. Yes, first game, goes to him, goes to Lord Specs. And the second game, now starting fairly, fairly evenly, but as you see he can, he gets on top of me fairly easy. And I'm trying to win on defense then, which can be okay. And I believe a little bit of... Uh, because Grimly ha has somewhat stubby normals, uh, it's sometimes what you have to do with him. Uh, but yeah, again, definitely my most, uh, my biggest weak point as of now is not having good pressure. And alongside, of course, game knowledge, like what, what, what should I dodge? What should I? Uh, what can I punish? And stuff like that. So yeah, this is potentially final round of the tournament, and yeah, I need to make something happen if I want to live any further. But I believe you are smart enough to have to uh, <laughs> to guess how this goes, uh, depending on um, see upon seeing the size, the length of this video. Actually, very good awareness for me going th that round, and that was a little bit lucky. I believe he wanted to enter air, was a little bit too late. I get the throw, and now he's only on very little health. If I press anything there, then I would have been prob would have probably died, or close to it at the very least. And I get another throw, and I won a round against the master rank player. So that's already, a, yeah, an accomplishment for me. Of course, you know, in the grand scheme of things, being master doesn't mean much. But if you're someone who's still down there, in uh, quotation marks, down there, um, down there in S, then that's definitely something. Okay, I get it, but again, that's always the thing about Raging Strike and uh, doing the... Fo uh, is that you lose lots of bravery points and so you even take even more damage. Yeah, and that was my tournament run. For more action like this, make sure to check out the Hearts of Blazing Discord for any European Grand Blue event. So thank you so much for watching. Catch you then. Bye bye.